All right, traders, I wanted to do a quick nightly analysis on the SPY. I'm currently seeing a daily pattern that I wanted to bring awareness to on where I'm going to be interested in potentially buying call options heading into tomorrow. So this is what I want to make very clear within this lesson. If the SPY ends up gapping up tomorrow, it opens up higher than the closing price for 85.39. I will be very interested in buying call options for a very bullish day and strong close if that were to happen. Based off of the daily pattern, it is saying that if we do end up gapping up tomorrow morning, that it is going to have a strong bullish trend day close. Now, with that being said, these are the levels that I will be looking at to buy calls if it gaps up. So this is what I want you to understand in terms of the SPY. The 30 minute chart, is going to break down what you need to understand in terms of where the overall price is headed and there's also very clear visual patterns that you can use with the 30 minute chart to confirm if it's going to go bullish or bearish for the next 30 minutes so i already spoke about the daily chart pattern that i was seeing i didn't show it to you guys but i spoke about it but basically if we gap up this is the information that i'm going to use heading into tomorrow it's going to be this if the spy gaps up I'm gonna be looking for the following zone to react as support, to react as a strong bullish 30 minute candlestick or a trend reversal candlestick, right? So I'm looking for a floor, I'm looking for bullish confirmations towards this level. 485.60, 485.60 to 486. This overall zone, you can even say 486.30. But basically, if I'm getting a bullish 30 minute green confirmation, if I'm getting my bullish confirmations that I used to trade with in between this zone at 485.60 to 486 and SPY is gapping up, I will be looking to buy calls. If that were to happen, we can see a very nice spike in a strong close towards 487.80, towards the high of this wick right here, and it could potentially spike to right here, which is a previous support level that kind of just crashed and it never retested, which is towards 488.60, that's the higher end. So my charts are reading that if we, get, if we gap up, we're gonna see a strong bullish overall close. All we need to do in terms of confirmation after the gap up is to look for a 30 minute green bullish confirmation towards that zone of 4560 to 486. So that's the overall game plan heading into tomorrow and you scale out into the rips in terms of where it's going to try to have its pullbacks towards this 487.80 level and then in terms of a major potential pullback level it's going to be 486.60. Now let's say that the SPY doesn't gap up. Let's say it gaps down. So in terms of it gapping down, if it has a small gap down, I'm not that I'm I'm not going to let that affect my decision. I'll just wait for a strong bullish 30 minute confirmation towards 485.60 to 486 to buy those calls if it has a small gap down. But if it has a big gap down, then that's going to be um, not relevant for a strong close. So if it has like a massive gap down below 485.39, then that whole strong close theory, that pattern that I'm seeing goes out the window and that means it's basically not going to repeat itself. Just understand that in order for that pattern to potentially repeat itself, it has to have just a very small gap down, but ideally it needs to gap up. And then in terms of your confirmation, it's that 30 minute green confirmation in between that zone. Now, if the spy gaps down um, and it's going bearish, I'm really not too interested in buying put options based off of you know the analysis and the pattern that I'm seeing. So in that situation, I'll be looking to buy calls at the following potential levels if we get a strong green bullish 30 minute confirmation. So the first level is gonna be this overall zone. We have a gap to fill that hasn't been filled yet at 482.43, and then we got some support at 482.75, so I'll look for a green bullish 30 minute candlestick towards that zone. And then I will also be keeping an eye on 478.55 to 479. So that's my overall price analysis. That's what I'm willing to share within this lesson. Obviously, I'm going to be making plenty of trades tomorrow that have nothing to do with this. But um, that's just what I wanted to share with you guys in terms of heading into tomorrow. For those of you who are interested in levels and patterns and confirmations and what to look for, that's my overall analysis. So, you know, just based off the analysis and what I'm seeing 
I'm really not too interested in buying put options unless we did get that spike to 488.60 with a bearish confirmation. I would try it, but even if it went there, it's supposed to close strong at the highs. So just be aware of the overall bullish trend. If we get that bullish 30 minute confirmation in between that 485.40 to 486 zone, or if we get that small gap up. So that's what I'm looking for. And that is based off of the daily pattern and off of the overall 30 minute chart. That's just one thing that I'm gonna be using heading into tomorrow. So I just wanna be very clear about that. Now, with that being said, that's just my some of my nightly analysis um, for the SPY. Now, if you do wanna take advantage of this opportunity and join Team Roar, that's gonna be the first link down below within the description. In terms of Team Roar, you'll be getting access to the lead trader who is the, um, you know, the lead trader who trades within Team Roar, G Roar, and you get access to all of his real-time trades and you get access to the Roar chat and the Roar community. He has a 95% win rate. He's the best options trader that I've ever worked with. And he mastered trading far out of the money option contracts tracks where you can sell deep in the money. So if you'd like to try the program out, it's a monthly subscription. You can cancel anytime you'd like. It has amazing reviews and we have plenty of members within the program who are getting results, staying in the program consistently. They love the community and they're making money following the trade alerts and they're also learning within the program. So um, with that being said, that's the first link down below in the description. I'm going to be wrapping up this lesson. I will see you guys tomorrow within Trader Society and within Team Roar.